I I almost got the chance to meet the Game Grumps, and I didn't, um, but by chance. And so, like, they were having a garage sale, right? And I lived. You just, met them up. I lived in San Diego at the time. They lived in L.A. or they still live in L.A. and they were having the garage sale there. And I had a friend who has a car, so I asked her. Get in um, the stupid machine, you. So, so I asked my friend, um, if, um, if she would be willing to help me meet, um, two of my favorite entertainers at the time. And, um, she was like, you know, I've, well, let's do it. And so, so we got up super early in the morning. We drove like three or four hours to LA and, um, we were, we were going to see if we could try to meet the gang grumps um, at this garage sale. And Let's so try the, if I meet this. So the garage sale was not actually taking place within a garage. It was taking Wait. place in a building. Um, what? What is it, Bexy? There was, there was texts from oh, the he just He just says, no, why isn't moving? Oh, hold on a second. Press the ignition button. And that's basically it. Just kick it's it. Okay. It's okay. I wanted to read it, but it's okay. Right. It's okay. Anyway, go on. But but so so it's like um the the garage sale was taking place in a rented out building, um somewhere in L. A. And um I remember it was middle of summer, I believe, and it was one of the hottest days during that summer. This is like a big controversy for Game Grumps fans, actually. Uh-huh. The, the the infamous garage sale, yeah. Yeah, and, but, but so it's like, it? when, when, when Amanda and I got there, there was already, like, hundreds of people, and, like, get this, so, because this was just, like, some regular garage sale, and they were advertising it, and be like, I mean, if you want to come, you can come. But it's like, you, 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 I don't know, you, you take a car, drive, bike, whatever. And um, and so not just people um, living within the state came, people across the country came. People came from all over the world. It became like a little miniature Game Grumps convention. And like, they totally it's, did not see it coming. It, it became was, a meetup. It was it was a nightmare. phenomenally insane. Yeah, it was it was bad. Like and they got a lot of flack for like not preparing ahead of time. Well, like, although, they, they, like they didn't know. Well, that's well, what I mean, to say. Like, although, how could you predict? Sale. How much can you? Do that's that? what I say. How can you but predict that you're gonna have people from all over the world coming just to go to your stinking garage? Well, and I'm sure they never the want to hear about it ever again. Right. I'm, I'm sorry, but here's the thing. They are well-known, world-round right. YouTube people. Don't you don't really tell think... the world where your address is, and then be you... surprised when they react. You know? Do yep. you really think they're not gonna come to you, stupid garage? Right. Let, 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 let come me on. explain. Let Hold me... on. There's more dialogue here. <gasps> Jazz, do do your voice. Do your voice. You want to do it? No, 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 that? no. That's the voice that you hate. Oh. That we have. I, I, I had the explosion about Nitty Maiden. No, you wanted to do the congested nerdy kid voice. No, that's supposed to be reserved for his stalker friend. Well, okay. Then I don't know how Jeff is going to talk. Please not that voice. Please not that. It, it is a legitimately do... annoying voice. Please, no. I could do Jeff. Here, yes. Okay. I guess. Nitty Maiden is gaming. A skate runner. Guess he won't do much ready now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. <laughs> He's just baby Roz. I'm Jeff, destroyer of worlds. Yeah. <laughs> I came because you called me. <laughs> I'm a very strong, really excited, kind of shy. I tend to be a little insecure. So. I'm also a communist. <laughs> I'm also a communist. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not Porky. What does that mean? <laughs> hey, don't you do my man Porky? <laughs> hey, 
He's brilliant. Shut the hell up, but, Jeff. But Porky's what a cyclops. Who, who are you, Jeff Dunham, the serial killer? Jeff Dunham, the serial killer? Oh my gosh. Don't you diss my boy. Ugh. Don't you diss him. You do not diss Porky. More story, More story time. Gosh, I'm tired. This is a story that could have been like one paragraph and it's turned into a novel <laughs> by this Shut point. Shut up. I'll say what I want. <laughs> anyway, so... This could have been like they had a kid, they had a garage sale. I went and I didn't get to see no, it. No, shut up! I want to explain the story. I want Listen, this is a testimony. A testimony. Yeah, so shut your face <laughs> and let me say it. Okay. <laughs> one hour of sleep. I need this anyway. Right. Let me tell the story. So. Um, when we got there, there were like hundreds and hundreds of people there, and they like, like there were like, um, like uh, uh, fudge. What is it called? What's it called? Uh, the um, the bouncers. Bouncers were there to keep everybody. To security. People. Yeah, to keep everybody in line and make sure that they security. were all lines and like, but the line was like going like down the street and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I hit the wire on the That's mic. Right. I hope I helped didn't this, No, it. remember, this, the new mic's not a sense that it was the old. All right, okay. Room. But so it's like, this, the, like the line was like winding down the street and wrapping around. It was like a snake. And, and, um, it just, it just kept building up more and more and more. And, um, they were doing their best to make it, um, as comfortable of a weight as possible and um they had like the 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 food outside and stuff like that with the carts and all and the food was good um it just so happened that that same day um there was a heat wave or whatever it, it, it was one of the it was a super duper hot day and some people lots of people had to make themselves go back home because it was just too long of a wait, and it was way too hot. And, um, I remember this was a time when I had cut my hair super short, so I had to wear a hat for most of the day. I didn't want to, like, mm -hmm. sunburn myself. Um, but, and, and also, um, like, we were waiting in line outside around that building for five hours. My feet were in agony, but I was desperate to meet Aaron Hansen and Dan Avedan. And so it's like, we finally get in, we're like going at a snail's pace trying to get inside. It's, it's like towards the end of the day now. And, um, and so it's like, we finally get in and I oh, happen no. to look across the, the building and I see Dan and Aaron at a table where they were supposed to be like signing papers and stuff for fans. But like from far away, I could just tell they had the most unhappy looks on their faces. They they wanted death. They, <laughs> they Yeah, they, I think I would they too. Wanted, at they, that they wanted point. they wanted to die. They they hated everything so badly were, like and i feel you know, so bad for them they were probably just really you know they were probably just really freaking tired yeah and and, and and they felt they should have announced that if they didn't want like a million people to show up yeah i know they, like they they just wanted to have some fun and stuff like that it's it's been they something they weren't expecting it's been something again, they've been criticized for and like their how that was handled but he, yeah. well here's the thing i don't blame them for being tired i don't blame right. them for being oh not at Oh, no, 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 no. They weren't expecting it because they didn't think a lot of people would do oh, that. Oh, this is express! <laughs> so now suddenly we give a crap what this guy says? Yes. Like, like I just had him show up. <laughs> we said nothing. Every time he's shown up in the game, we've never said anything. But now, listen. now we care. <laughs> listen, Bex, <laughs> listen, Bex <laughs> cares <laughs> about the dialogue. She was talking about. But even she doesn't care what that guy says. No, he's just the dude. He's a little piece of crap. Who cares what he says? Uh, in, but yeah, um, uh, um, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I thought I was 
to be. I thought it was being a good friend, but I guess not. No, yeah, anyway, go on. You're the worst friend. <laughs> and this, like, I wouldn't blame them for being as tired as they are. For being as tired as they are. I don't know my accent right now. Uh, I can't really control Look at it. that background, but, it's so trendy. <laughs> But, look at Pinocchio, wanna... that had Jas some... Jasmine! What? She's trying to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, go on. Anyway, like, it's so important saying... that Bex gets to say what she wants. Now let me talk over her the whole time. <laughs> like I was saying, I don't blame them for being tired and being worn out after a long day. Uh -huh. I would be too. Yep. Like, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't be just dead after an accident? <coughs> mm -hmm. they, they learned. They learned. After that, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they did. <laughs> I was like, anyway. we're hoping they learned. Well, I'm certain they have. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they learned that they to not do that again because people are going to plan ahead yeah i i do I, honestly i do think it's pretty funny because like if god forbid if we ever reach that level of popularity i Just certainly so you know, wouldn't I'll happily talk to every fan with a smile on my face well i was gonna say i certainly wouldn't be like hey guys you know we're just gonna do a little small event we're, we're gonna go visit some family this is the address we'll be at you know if a couple people want to show up i would never say like here's the address we'll be at like, I hope this it would be the no. worst idea I, I, Honest, I honestly hope that this is something that they can just laugh at later and oh, they say it's like do. they probably I'm already sure they do, do laugh at it. I, I hope they do. that laugh at anything. I really like hope me. they do. Yeah. Cause like I have some I have some good memories from it. Mm -hmm. And also I have a tiny bit more to save though. So 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 it's like But you get closer to somebody I actually care like somebody like on the internet <laughs> that's like Bex, that Bex, I misunderstood where you were going with that. <laughs> and so when Jess said I have more to say <laughs> I thought you were saying, are you getting closer to something I actually care about? <laughs> I was like, what a mean thing to say. What? I thought she was being sarcastic about what you were what you were talking about. And then I realized she was just <laughs> What? <laughs> that is so she was talking about how people get attached to people get attached to like celebrities they like so they want to be closer to someone they care about but i misunderstood no. what she was saying <laughs> so when you said i have more to say are you getting closer to something i care about like it was really funny oh my gosh no oh, oh I no i just saying... spat all over you that's okay i did too when i coughed so. oh my goodness but, but so, no no no, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait wait let me finish like... let me finish let me finish! I'm we'll finish. I'm We're letting you finish. Let me finish! I'm, forget, I'm almost done. But I'm gonna forget what I'm gonna say. Okay, please say it then. Alright, what I was gonna say was that if, um... Like, if I had, like... If you've gotten closer to any, any, like... Online personality that I've ever actually cared about than I ever have in my life. I live in a tiny little town. Mm -hmm. A teeny tiny, no one knows where it is kind mm -hmm. of town. Yeah. Like, you got closer to that than I will ever have gotten. You know- And it... probably ever will get, because I, like, I've always wanted to meet, like, Markiplier, or, mm -hmm. like, Jacksepticeye, or yeah. Game Grumps, or just some, like, or, like, Evanescence, specifically. You know, I'll say this, uh, having, Amy Lee. having met a lot of different people at, like, comic conventions and stuff, and even having been friends... Joe <laughs> Vasquez is someone I've, I've been I've meet. been friends with some of the different cartoonists I admire online, mm -hmm. and, um, it's one of those sort of things where, like, Sometimes it's it's really cool. Other times you're like, yeah, I met him. He's just kind of a guy. And in fact, sometimes they turn out to be really unpleasant people, and you're you like, know, oh, geez, I never want to hang out. You, their oh, works, their works great. I love their show, but I never want to talk to them again. Ultimate, you know? Ultimately, you, know you really, you, you really know do. Kind of cool. Oh, sorry. Mm. 
Uh, there is one person that I did meet, who I'm actually really close friends with now. Mm-hmm. Um, she did these old animations on the internet, uh, Happy Tree Friends, My Little Pony Mix. Uh-huh. It, 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 if, you knew, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The smile dot, was it like Smile HD or something like that? Was it that no, person? Oh no, she okay. was, she's not Miss Davies. She's not Mr. Davies. Mm-hmm. Mr. Davies kind of fell off the internet. No, this is somebody else. This is Chow Chow 0071. She is the sweetest person you'll ever meet. Mm-hmm. She's very engaging with her audience. I like how, as you've been talking, you have like a slight accent going on. <laughs> yes, that you don't I told you, use. it's not going away. It's it's Bantipo. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, she she's the sweetest person you would ever meet. She's like she's sending me some puzzles just because she remembered that I like to puzzle. Aww. And I sent her some gobstoppers and a bunch of other like Canadian candies uh-huh. and treats because you know she deserves that much, and I hope it gets sent to her. Right now, it's stuck in my town, and I'm not sure why. But aside from that, um, you know, she is the sweetest person you could ever meet. She, like, she, like, she animates with mm-hmm. paint. Oh wow! Microsoft Paint. Oh. Uh, I think a little bit of Sony Vegas for specific editing purposes, and then my uh. Movie Maker. Movie Maker, specifically Windows 7. Movie Maker. That... Like, you know what? Let me find uh, one of our most recent animations. <coughs> I still wish I could animate at all. I, all I can do is my little like, Vagal animations in Vegas. She is absolutely fantastic with it. You know what? I'll give you her most recent animation. Oh, wait, I didn't finish my story. I like how Bex also. I'm, I'm so say, sorry. I like how Bex wait, is doing like this. this like pseudo British accent. Like she's becoming in more and more a South Park Canadian character as we talk. <laughs> I'm not oh, your shush. friend, guy. All right, let's see this. <laughs> Oh, that but watch good. this video. It Ooh. is so beautifully animated. It's okay. all animated in paint. I okay. watched her animate this. We'll watch this real quick. Okay. Yo, yo, oh my yo. god, this was done in paint? Wow. But yeah, and I... she... But yeah, she's just the sweetest person you would ever meet. Aww. I've I've been fortunate to, um, to, like, to meet some so of the people much. I admire. Although I've been unfortunate, again, in that regard to learn, it's true, sometimes it's best not to meet your heroes. Some of them turned out to be very rude, very unpleasant people. Um, so, it, it, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's case by case scenario. Although, with that in mind, uh, it's something I tell people a lot, um, absolutely. Um, I'm a strong uh, proponent of the... Um, I don't know if that's the word or not. But anyway, I, I'm a strong supporter of the separate the art from the artist mentality. Because there's oh, yeah. been a lot of people like, oh, I found out this guy is really rude. I, I, I hate him. Like, he's still a good artist. That's one of the things I was going to say is I say this as an artist, that artists are way too sensitive and self-righteous about those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. It's it's like the whole thing when people go, you need to ask me permission before you draw fan art. And I was like, it's freaking oh, like fan art. The entire, the entire point of fan art like and that. fan fiction is that it's unofficial. Who cares if you have permission? I did like, have, no, no, you don't need permission to draw fan art. That's Excuse stupid. Me. I I did have Sorry. um I, I did have a situation um happen recently like um where um with, I had I had a I had a piece of Bendy in the Ink Machine fan art mm-hmm. that I had made. It was Bendy in the Dark Revival rather, mm-hmm. and um it was solely black and white, and that's how I intended for it. 
And um, there was there was someone um, who decided that they wanted to take that drawing and add color to it instead and claim it as um, completed. And oh my god, they stole, they straight up stole your art. But, but, but they also, no, you have every right no, to no, get no, 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 listen, 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 they, they said that um, it was, um, they, they said that it was mine. Um, and that they just wanted to see okay, color with it. Yeah, they gave and, her. They gave her oh, proper well, credit. Okay, well then that's yeah, but, fine. But, but but here's the thing though. Like like I I saw it and I'm like, yes, but why? And they said like because I wanted to see it with color and be completed and stuff. I, I'm like okay, so I can't say it word for word. I can't remember. And I said that. He basically was like, I'd like to see it complete. Yeah, and I said that's cool and all. But you like you kind of didn't ask me, and so it just seems a little rude uh, without just letting me know beforehand and stuff. And um, That's fair. yeah, and also like that. with with each, I I also like I tried to nicely explain. I don't know if I did a good job, but I hope I did. But like with with art, um, there's there's like you can do art however the heck you want and like i think the coloring that he did on that picture was super duper good and i would have i would have been 100 percent cool with it if he just asked first and stuff i still think it yeah. looks really no cool everybody with has everybody has their their with it yeah i just for me i was just a little for I was me, just a little myth that he just did it without yeah. asking first is all but, yeah i guess i mean it's whatever for me for me, it's a little different. If you're gonna color something of mine that is like a black and white thing, even though I don't do that, mm -hmm. but if you're gonna do something like that, and you give me credit as the original artist, I'm not gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. The only thing I ever care about is giving credit to the original artist. Right. That is all I'll ever care about. Mm -hmm. And the reason behind that is because they're not claiming it as their own. They're just claiming an edit of sort. And that's fine with me. That'll always be fine with me as long as somebody gives credit. Mm -hmm. Now, like, I will never be the kind of person who says, hey, you cannot reference my art. You cannot change my art. You cannot paste my art. But if you want to do that, and as long as you give credit, that is all I care about. That's mm. all I will ever care about. If it leads it back to me, do whatever you want with my I don't mm. care. There's also this thingy where like, um, I don't know, maybe I'm too baby sensitive about it. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll think about it when I'm more awake and stuff. I, I'm running on like yes. one hour to well, sleep. I was gonna say yes, we should probably jokes. like move on to like something that's actually an in interesting conversation for the audience because it's been like yeah, it's sure. been like an hour of the three of us in a drunken, sleepy slur saying, "Here's another <laughs> thing this guy did that annoyed me." <laughs> <laughs> it's probably yeah, uh, really to boring finish. to the audience. So <laughs> I um, to this off. So I've been having weird dreams about daddies. Uh huh. That's, where is this? What where is this going? And does it belong what? in the show? And, and I, <laughs> I remember I'm bringing it up in the Discord chat, face. and and Vex, you were weirded out by that thing I said, and. I remember that. In the dream? No. Was I in, in the dream? dream? No, you were the daddy in the dream, Bex. Oh. No. <laughs> I want to draw a picture now. I want to draw a picture now no. of like Bex. Bex, but like has like the cliche like 1950s, Bex 1960s. Dad. Yeah, 1950s, 60s sitcom dad with like the pipe and everything now. Bex dad. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I wouldn't even hate that because I like that era of style. Yes. I like that you're, fashion. You're, I can't you're, even be mad. Your How second dare wife? you make me not upset by it? Your second <laughs> wife and Bex dad. Okay, so we defeated the evil no. evil zombie <laughs> yes. circus tent. We defeated we the evil zombie circus tent and we've I... got the fly honey that we need to go talk that to the good. leader. But how do I... I'm supposed to get a phone call that like progresses the story. All right, I think I think you should stop here. Just Why? because I, 
Just because I do want to get back to Chris. Yeah, yeah. And it's we should probably call. Some sleep. I heard Here it is. I Here's the, the call. Phone. Here we go. Hello, Hello this is the Apple Kid. Uh, no, Can sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, I'm we'll, we'll, let, we'll let Bex do it. Bex okay, is on a roll okay, with the voices. Okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> Hello, this is Apple Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I finished pretty unique invention. Very, very artistic. I'm not, I'm not sure if it will help you or not. <laughs> it's it's called zombie paper. It can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly trap. Fly paper. All you need to do is place paper on floor of tent <laughs> or something. <coughs> you you've seen at least one tent around, right? Then zombies get stuck to paper. Right? Then yeah. they move around it. And when they move around inside tent, you can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies. They are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I, I just asked the Mac Pizza Man uh, Delivery Man <laughs> to deliver the zombie paper to Eunice. Pizza Man Delivery Man. Pizza Man Delivery Man. You, I didn't get to read the last bit. You never, I've never actually seen zombie, but if they are, if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Beep. It would be very useful. I want, uh, I want to edit in the pizza delivery guy being Pepino when he shows up. Yes, pick up the receiver. <laughs> yes, right. don't say right, a word. I don't exactly get. God damn it! We we sh I'm sorry. Yes, for it's all your day. Yelling. It's your day. I'm sorry. <laughs> day. I. It's your day. <laughs> I am sorry for all the censoring you're gonna. Have to oh, do that's that fine. Against. That's do, fine. Do, that's do, what I, I do. I don't give a. That's what I do as a dad. <laughs> you are the dad. <laughs> wait, all right. Wait, but, please, yes. please, please, let me finish my story. There's more okay. of the story. Yes, I'm trying story. to tell you. I thought the story was just we got there. It was so busy. No, we couldn't listen, see listen. Listen. Okay, shut okay. Up and listen. We'll wrap it up. Be Bex has got to go. We got to go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. So listen. Listen. So. I finally got into the building, right? And I saw them across the, the building and stuff like that. Um, but I wasn't able to get over to them. So I decided in the meantime, I would buy myself a Star Bomb sweater, which I still have actually. It's got a hole in it. But anyway, nice. so um, I, so this like- I like it a lot. Yeah, but so, but so like, um, when my friend and I tried to go over to the table where I originally saw um, Aaron and Dan, um, they were gone! And it's, be and it's because they were having an extremely late lunch. They were getting in their limousines, legit limousines, and, um, and, um, going to have a, a late lunch. And, um, I didn't know, I didn't see them or anything like that. Um, but so it's like, we, we go back outside, like, since, um, since the day was almost over and they were going to be eaten and stuff, Amanda was like, we should probably just head back to San Diego. So we decided we were going to do that. And even though it was like a hundred million degrees outside still and um, stuff like that, as soon as we got outside, I'm like, you know what? I paid good money for this sweater. I'm going to put it on. So I put it on in the middle of that heat and I wore it proudly. And so then we walked across the street and closer to the car. And as we were getting closer to our car, um, Amanda was like, oh, by the way, Dan was in the limousine uh, beside you as you were putting on that sweater. And I was like, why didn't you tell me? And, and she was like, because you would have reacted that way. Again, again, that story could have taken like all of five minutes. <laughs>
Yeah, and you could have let me see it <laughs> a lot sooner. Anyway, we, we should stop here. I do want to get going. Yeah. Get back to, to Chris. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it a night. Did you like my story? Comment in yes. the comments below. <laughs> One God. comment. One did comment. It's like, I love the video, but all that kissing the Game Grumps butts was stupid. <laughs> did, 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 did you, do you want to see us do a garage sale? No. Let us know in the comments. Too bad, because we're not going to do it. Bye. Do you want, do you want no. Bex to be your dad? Comment in the no. comments. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're...